Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. We got another episode, and you probably guessed it because you saw the title when you clicked on the video. It said uh, chili. So what we're doing is we're randomly grabbing chili recipes. We're going to try some different ones. We're going to try some southwestern ones, some hot ones, some meaty ones, some beanie ones. Uh, but this is our first chili episode. I haven't done it. Somebody suggested it, so we're doing it. So this is chili number one. All right, it's called smoky beef chili. We're gonna get to that in a moment. But first, I just wanna say that uh, uh, I have a few announcements to make. You guys love to get interactive in the comments. It's now time to take it to the next level. So if you're doing anything that I do here, I want you to snap a shot of it or videotape yourself doing it and send it to me. You can email it to me. Uh, you can send me a link and I'll download it from somewhere or you can post it on a video site and I'll take it from there. Uh, but if you want to show me stuff, I'll feed it into my show. We'll look at what you made. Uh, in fact, let me give you an example. Uh, let's take Ross uh, from Georgia, or better known as Dog for Life 24. And here's a shot of what he did. He did my bean dip. And it looks delicious. And look at that. I mean, just, just snap a shot of it and send it to me. Also, I want to thank uh, Math from Canada for his cheese crisps shot. He took a few shots. He showed me how, how he made the cheese crisps. And that looks delicious. If you notice, he just used white cheese. Uh, I used kind of a Mexican blend. Any cheese works, cheese, butter, and onions, crisp it up, it is awesome. All right, now today is gonna be a little complicated. I like to do easy things. Uh, this isn't too bad. The only thing bad about this is these onions because they're just like making me cry already. Uh, we cut everything up. Uh, we're gonna go step by step, but first, as we always do, let me show you the recipe. There it is. Get that, uh, if you have to pause the video to write that down, go right ahead. And that's all ingredients, and I will show you now how to throw it all together. So the first step, we have to take some water and get it boiling. I'm just gonna microwave it. You can do it in a pot if you want. But you need boiling water, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the prunes, da -da -da -da, pitted prunes, and five of these bad boys, these uh, big red chilies, they're dried, okay? You're gonna put the, these ingredients together in a bowl of boiling water, and you're just gonna let it set. Okay, we're gonna put the five chilies in here. You're gonna take the prunes, there's a cup full of prunes, you're gonna throw those in there. So I'm gonna pour enough in here to, to pretty much cover everything. Once again, if you gotta move it around, push everything down, go ahead and push it all down under the water, okay? And let that soak, as you can see, it's all soaking. Ooh, it's really hot. Oh wow, you can smell those chilies, that's crazy. And we're gonna let that soak for a while, okay? Okay, while the chilies are soaking with the prunes in the boiling water, get one of these uh, sauce pots, uh, not too big, normal size, okay? And you're gonna take your bacon, you're just gonna brown it in this over a medium flame, okay? You can hear it sizzling already. Okay, we're gonna get that nice and crisp, crisp up all your bacon, and then I'm, I'll tell you what to do next. You're watching The Cooking with Jack Show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee. We do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. Okay, so I've crisped up the bacon. It's all crispy. We're going to put that in a bowl and put it off to the side. You take it out of this pot, but leave the bacon grease. Now, you're, what you're going to do is, first we're going to try and get some of this juice out. No seeds, just juice. Just the, uh, the liquid. You want a third of a cup, so we're going to pull that out first. And the way you're going to do that is, you're going to gently just dip a ladle in there. Trying not to grab any seeds as you do it. And then get your measuring cup and a third of a cup. You're gonna measure out a third of a cup. Now that we've soaked it for 15 minutes and we pulled out the third of a cup of juice out of here, we're going to get rid of some things. Take the chilies and we're gonna clean them. You're gonna take the, the stem off, okay? You just tear that off like that. And then you're gonna clean out all the seeds, okay? Make sure all the water's out and you're gonna get all the seeds out of it. Okay, then when you're done with it, when it's clean, you're gonna lay it on, the, on a cutting board. 
You're also going to take the prunes out too. Make sure they're clean and lay those right next to the cutting board. Get everything out. So we're getting rid of seeds, we're getting rid of water, and we're getting rid of stems. Back to the stove. Now here's the pot that has the bacon grease in it. We're gonna take our onions and cook it in a little bit of bacon grease. We're gonna soften those for about eight minutes. Wow, can you believe this? I'm multitasking. I've already crisped up the bacon. I got the onions on the stove right now, sizzling away. Now I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna puree these. You can do it in a food processor, you can do it in a blender. Uh, we're gonna puree these and put them in a bowl for now. Well, I don't have a food processor because I'm a lazy man, okay? So I'm using the blender. There it is, the prunes and the chilies are in there. I'm gonna puree them. But before you do, you're gonna add the tomato paste. Three tablespoons to be exact. You're gonna take that liquid we pulled out of the mixture and you're gonna put that in there too. Beautiful. Now you're gonna puree it. It's gonna look something like this. Look at that, nice and beautiful. It's all pureed, let's go to the next step. All right, there we go. We've cooked, softened all the onions. They look beautiful. Now we're gonna add the uh, garlic and the paprika. Just a little bit the recipe asked for, just drop it in there. Beautiful. We're gonna mix that in, we're gonna kind of incorporate that, so cook it for about another minute or so. So the paprika is all worked in there with the garlic and the onions. Now, two pounds of meat. Drop that in there. There you go. Go ahead and get your spatula and start breaking that meat up. Now, all the meat is brown, it's beautiful. The onions are good. Paprika, garlic, awesome. Here's where we start to throw everything together. There's always a part of the recipe where you throw everything together. We're gonna take this paste, uh, puree mix, excuse me, puree with the chilies and the, and the prunes and get that in there. Then you're gonna add your fire roasted diced tomatoes, 28 ounces worth, so I'm putting in two cans. If you don't have fire roasted, just use regular diced tomatoes. Okay, and then remember that bacon? I'm gonna throw that in there too. Throw it all in there. And then you get to mix it all up, but before you do, top it off with some salt for seasoning. This is the part where you can add whatever seasoning you like. That should be good. If we need more, we'll add it later. You can add more cayenne pepper. I mean, you can add cayenne pepper to this. You can add pepper to this. Anything you want. You can mix this all up. Season it to your liking. This is chili. Chili can be made 4,000 gazillion different ways. So once it's all mixed up, you're gonna cover this and you're gonna simmer it for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna lower this flame here. Get it down to like a, a low simmer. And we'll check you in 20 minutes. All right, topped it off with a little bit of shredded cheddar and it's melting pretty fast. Look how beautiful this is. I, I gotta tell you, the look looks great. I mean, look at that. Look at all those ingredients. Mmm. Smells good. Here we go. Mmm, it is sweet. Mmm. And it's hot. It's sweet and it's hot. Wow. <laughs> it's really cool. Hey, it's really good. This is really good stuff. Smoky beef chili. Well, there you go. Now, when you try it, take some pictures or some video and let me know what you think. Wow, I'm gonna get some cheese on that next one. All right, I'm not gonna eat any more in front of you. You guys take care. Ooh, look at that, it's hot. And uh, keep the emails coming and we'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack.